Line up four items of the same color to create a rocket. Swipe the rocket to see its effect. Make a T-shaped match to create a bomb. Now tap the bomb to use it. There's one. Kaboom. Nice. Truck stars, indeed. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the second episode of Doug Trucking. I've been in the office and dropped off the paperwork for the recreational vehicles I just delivered. While I was in there, I said if they had any deliveries today, they said there was one to go to Wichita. So I've texted Jeff, my boss, to make sure I'm okay to do the trip, and I'm just playing this truck star game I got of the App Store while I wait for a reply. I've only played a couple of levels, but it seemed like a good game and it's trucks, and that's always good. There we go. I can do the trip. I'll just go and start out the paperwork. I'll be right back. Right, we are taking some cars from here, Hayes to Wichita. It's about 197 miles. The time is now 8.45. The drive is going to take three hours and 20 minutes.
little bit of music. This song is Cowgirls Don't Cry by Gamma Skies.
Let's walk Wichita in the 20th century. In 1914 and 1915, deposits of oil and natural gas were discovered in nearby Butler County. This triggered another economic boom in Wichita as producers established refineries, fueling stations, and headquarters in the city. By 1917, five operating refineries were in Wichita, with another seven built in the 1920s. The careers and fortunes of future oil moguls, Archibald Derby, who later founded Derby Oil, and Fred C. Coach, who established what would become Coach Industries, both began in Wichita during this period. The money generated by the oil boom enabled local entrepreneurs to invest in the nascent airplane manufacturing industry. In 1917, Clyde Cessna built his Cessna Comet in Wichita, the first aircraft built in the city. In 1920, two local oil men invited Chicago aircraft builder Emile Matty Laird to manufacture his designs in Wichita, leading to the formation of the Swallow Airplane Company. Two early Swallow employees, Lloyd Sturman and Walter Beach, went on to found two prominent Wichita-based companies, Sturman Aircraft in 1926 and Beechcraft in 1932, respectively. Cessna, meanwhile, started his own company in Wichita in 1927. The city became such a center of the industry that the Aeronautical Chamber of Commerce dubbed it the air capital of the world in 1929. Boeing B-29 Assembly Line 1944. Over the following decades, aviation and aircraft manufacturing continued to drive expansion of the city. In 1934, Stearman's Wichita facilities became part of Boeing, which would become the city's largest employer. Initial construction of Wichita Municipal Airport finished southeast of the city in 1935. During World War II, the site hosted Wichita Army Airfield and Boeing Airplane Company Plant No. 1. The city experienced a population explosion during the war when it became a major manufacturing center for the Boeing B-29 bomber. The wartime city quickly grew from 110,000 to 184,000 residents, drawing aircraft workers from throughout the central U.S. in 1951 the U.S. Air Force announced plans to assume control of the airport to establish McConnell Air Force Base. By 1954, all non-military air traffic had shifted to the new Wichita Mid-Continent Airport west of the city. In 1962, Learjet Corporation opened with its plant adjacent to the new airport. The original Pizza Hut building, which was moved to the campus of Wichita State University 2004. Throughout the late 19th and 20th centuries, several other prominent businesses and brands had their origins in Wichita. Maker Mentholatum in Wichita in 1889. Sporting goods and camping gear retailer Coleman started in the city in the early 1900s. A number of fast food franchises started in Wichita, beginning with White Castle in 1921 and followed by many more in the 1950 and 1960, including Pizza Hut in 1958. In the 1970 and 80, the city became a regional center of healthcare and medical research. I'd just like to say that I got all this info from Wikipedia, so I apologize if any of the info is wrong. have arrived at your destination. Well, that's the second episode of the show. I'm going to park up and take the paperwork into the office. I think I have enough time for one more delivery today, so I will see what they have to offer me. I'd just like to say thank you for taking the time to watch the video. It's much appreciated. Please think about liking this video, sharing, and even consider subscribing. But for now, goodbye, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.